All right, welcome back to the Auto Intuitive channel. This is Isaac, and here is the 24X1, which um, I did an X1 and X2 on my last video, but this is an X128i. And sorry, this one doesn't have the hubcaps put on yet, so that's how it looks like when the wheels are bare bone, um, because the X1 does come in base model with uh, hubcaps that clip on, surprisingly. Um, so this one's the X line, the one sitting next to it, uh, the Laguna Bay Blue, that's the M35 M Sport. So that one's the 312 horsepower, 295 pound feet of torque. This one here is a 241 horsepower, 295 pound feet of torque as well. So I wanted to do a direct comparison of the X1s that are currently out, the newest X1. and so. You could see this one being an X-Line, you have silver around the windows, you have silver side mirrors, and also you have this silver down here. Um, so this is how this car normally comes. Um, this one's also optioned with a trailer hitch. There you go, down there. I hear it can tow about 4,000 pounds. Um, you can see there our tail lights are the same. Now these tail lights warm up when you start the car. They're much more dim when the car is off. Um, last time we were looking at bumpers, so there's our bumper there, and you could see that there are no exhausts on the base X1 and the base X2. Um, but if I go over here to the M235, we have exhausts that are in black, and also you have a different style bumper than the regular X-Line. Um, this car, of course, everything is blacked out. You have the gloss black at the bottom. It's meant to look more uh, bold, more sporty. The wheels are not hubcaps, those are real. Um, those are, I believe, 19s, because the other ones are definitely 18s. Yep, they're 19s, I can see them from here. Uh, you got the fancy side mirrors. Ta-da! M car side mirrors. And you can see our steering wheel there with the red dot on it for the wheel marker. Here's the look from the front. So it has the M Sport Professional package, which blacked out the grill as well. And there's our M badge. And on this car, you have a grill that's silver. Um, classic silver, of course it's bigger. And it, uh, the X1s have a different grill than the X2, which we did in the last video, including the headlights. Car looks different. Um, let's go here to our lower bumper on the X line, uh, so X1. 28i. This is the 2024. Here's the 2024 X1 M35i. So, we both know that this one is much more powerful than the Phytonic blue one here on the right. One thing I've noticed is, so they're both on dual clutch transmissions, which is just interesting. So they buck a little bit when they're new, so the clutch needs to be get worn in a bit. And so this one, uh, the 28i, it feels much more, it, it, to me it, it bucks more. And I'm thinking it bucks more because it has less power, it has less torque initially than the other car. And also of course the gearing is different. You see here we have the, our trim there on the door. Um, this wood in this car is eucalyptus, open pore wood. And this car is also optioned with Harman Kardon. You can see here we have our Vaganza seats. Now pay attention to these seats because I did this on the last video. These are the standard seats. You do have nice bolstering on the side, uh, which even my M340 I complain about doesn't have. Oh, another thing about my M340, which is sitting somewhere all the way over there. You see the speed limit here? This car is limited to 149 miles an hour. The 28i is limited to 149 miles an hour, which just blows my mind. I drive an M340 that I just put uh, Michelin Pilot Sport 4S's on, sticky tires for the summer. It's limited to 130 miles an hour, and that drives me nuts because I have 400 horsepower in a sedan, and this hatchback will come cruising by me once we both hit our top speed. Okay, so let me see if I could roll this camera back a little bit. There we go, so you see the steering wheel here. This steering wheel is thinner than the one in the Laguna Bay Blue car, which I'll show you here in a moment. Thinner steering wheel, and then of course you have a different sort of design. Um, it kind of still mimics an M Sport steering wheel. Um, it's very light, 
Um, even in, so we're in sport right now, and this steering wheel is very light. And in comfort, I barely notice a difference. Um, and so it's because this car has a mild hybrid system. Speaking about the mild hybrid system, um, <laughs> when it, sometimes you could feel the mild hybrid working in the steering wheel. Sometimes you could tell it's not, it's trying to catch up or something. Um, but maybe that's because this car is front wheel biased and I'm used to driving a real wheel biased car. Um, the power in this car is perfection. How this car is built, this car has the convenience package and it's 46,000, so it's right under 50 grand, which is good. It has remote engine start. The X128i now too has the uh, blind spot detection. Pretty hard to see there, it's where the stop sign is. It's there in the corner, there's a triangle. And yep, it parks itself as well. Um, this car is not optioned with a park in itself, so I'll hit the park distance control there, and it just gives me the rear camera. The one next to me gives us the all-around view of the car. So this car here, you could see all around it um, on the other one, because the other one parks itself. This is missing the, what is it called? Park Assist Professional. Park Assist Package. All right, yep, so you see there's extra room down here um, for storage, and you have two USB-Cs, and you have a wireless charger. I love this because my phone can be sitting up. Uh -huh. I'm, I'm, uh, sometimes I like to uh, uh, listen to a podcast, but I could have a video on my YouTube going, which I shouldn't say, you're supposed to pay attention to the road, but I could have my YouTube going, my phone sitting here, and it's coming in through the speakers. Ah, uh, a little dirty trick there. Um, another thing that I went over is that X1s don't come standard with garage door openers. Yeah, they don't come standard with garage door openers. Another thing I'm noticing too is a lot of cars, here let me hit this button here in the corner, zoom in a bit, see that one? That button brings up your exterior menu. Um, so a lot of cars don't have active bending lights. This car, they, uh, the BMWs do definitely have auto high beam standard, but I'm noticing that there's a package now for active bending, which is standard on my M340. Uh, you can see that I'm tapping on the brakes. All right, let's jump in the other car. This video is almost over. Um, but yeah, this car, to be honest, it, it bucks a little more, but once you get going, it's much smoother because they both have a seven speed dual clutch uh, I'm not sure why dual clutch, maybe it's the layout. Um, and then here's the M35 in, in Laguna Bay Blue, which is just beautiful. Bay, Blue Bay Lagoon, Blue Bay Lagoon, sorry. It's called Blue Bay Lagoon. Here, let's verify. Too many blues. Blue Bay Lagoon. <laughs> All right, you see there's our camera in this car, in the M35, right there. Well, let me close the door so it's not all blacked out. Bam. So that car tells you it parks itself. Um, look at the steering wheel. Here's our steering wheel, it's thicker, and you do have more aggressive uh, openings here. You have the M badge, you have the paddles, and this one says boost on it. One thing I noticed about holding the boost pa paddle, of course it does a countdown once you're in drive, Let's see here, bam, take this off, and I'm going to hold the left paddle, see the countdown, now that countdown is basically launch control, um, and it does, once the countdown, uh, once you take off, and you're holding this, it, it, it pulls all the way to the top, it doesn't shift early, you would think that it would shift early even if you're, um, mild hybrid system, because that's what this is really. This is electric boost um, for your uh, 48 volt generator. Oh, by the way, these both both these cars start like right away um, at a light. So the whole auto stop start to me, it's not such a big a deal, but as you can see in this car, it says replace battery. What battery are we replacing? You know what I'm saying? You see that? And this is a brand new car. Um, so we'll see what what's going on with that eventually. Um, but yeah, both cars are very quiet, especially this one next to it. Um, the X1 to me, oh, here you go. Probably wanna view the inside before I jump out. Same stuff, 
This one has Alcantara seats. Oh, look at this bolster. So the other one only has a bolster here. This one has it at the top as well that surrounds you, just like the M cars. And you have the blue stitching on the door handle as well. Meh, door handle, on the door itself. And leather, real leather. All right. So, verdict. This one is great if you want to, if you drive a lot and you go on road trips, I think this one's excellent. The one next to it is great if you probably have a fun driving uh, road and it's you could stretch its legs. It does shift way faster and it's much more, the throttle's much more uh, in tune. That one drives like this one drives in efficient mode. Um, but this one in sport mode, yeah, it does okay. But in sport mode, it drives like this one does right normally. So that's, that's what I'm noticing about the two. If you were to walk into a dealership and go, well, of course the Bay Blue Lagoon is uh, more expensive and the Phytonic Blue one here is under 50 grand. Um, so yeah, which one would you pick? Thanks for joining. I hope we learned something.